everybody welcome back well this week we are going to try to finish up the tin and that may or may not happen um, so it is first of the week we did actually work yesterday um, at least uh, Lori and I and Matt did um, and we were able to get the foam finished up and we were able to get that large gable end wall on the south um, get all the tin on that so that went well so we're ready for Mike the plumber to show up um, either today or tomorrow and uh, put down his pecs and get that done which would be great um, today we're going to try to get up on the high roof and uh, see how far we can get that the problem that we're going to have is uh, the next after today the next three days um, it's forecast for uh, sustained winds in at around 15 miles an hour and gusts to 20 to 25 to 20 to 30 miles an hour um, we're not going up there so uh, so we'll see what happens with this um, we want to take it slow and safe um, it is um, quite high up in the air and we're trying to be as safe as we can on it but we'll see where we get so anyway so that's where we're at so let's get out on the site, see what we can come up with for the week, and uh, keep moving forward. All right, so here's kind of how that we're putting the, the tin on now. Back up here a little bit. We're starting to get the tin on. But how this goes together, we've got a rubber piece in here that seals it underneath. Then we've got this one piece. Um, our edge band, our edge molding. Then we've got our standard fascia, and then up underneath you can see our soffit and our F channel. All right, I didn't quite show the detail before, but you can. They're putting in this white foam along the outside. And we've got a two by eight, and there's a two by six underneath that. And then you can see a vapor barrier, and then we've got two inches of foam. And then we'll bring five inches of concrete over top of this. What do you think, Matt? Ta-da! Ta-da! We did something. We got something done today. And it's an early day. That's, is that the secret? It only worked for like partial days? Something. I don't know what it was. It, whatever it is, it worked. <laughs> so this is the transition piece between the upper and lower roof. So this is on the downhill side. So this is the lower section of roof. And then this goes up on the top. So... One of the things to do is like the top one, we've got the foam like this, so the sheets will sit over top of that. And then underneath, there's a reverse of this that'll sit underneath and seal it that way. So that's what those guys are up there doing right now. Is getting that top section of roof put on. it all screwed off. So. And it's on camera, so we're good. That's the only thing that matters. I got it a long time ago. It's an old channel. So what's our spacing here, Mike? It's gonna be 12 inches. So how many feet of pipe we got, you figuring? Uh, roughly about 3,000 feet of pipe. Okay. So 
bring all the tubes up into here. And the concrete guys will pour around that. Well, this is not what I was hoping for. It's pretty over the trees. Not so pretty on the roof. So, it is, today is the 14th of October, and uh, we've got mostly buttoned up everything. We've got a little bit on, uh, my God, they're just like, yeah, a lot more than I was hoping. This was, there was most supposed to be maybe a dusting north of us with the weather forecast. This is not a dusting. It's not a lot. It's just about freezing. So it, this stuff will probably be gone in a couple hours as soon as it starts warming up. Um, so we've got to what we have left. And I don't know if I can, I can't even see it from here. So we've got seven pieces on that upper roof to get in. This one I'm not worried about at all. And then around the front here, let's see what we got going on up here. Tell him there's not gonna be happy this morning. Um, we just got this a little bit here, so not a lot. So we'll start this morning and uh, get this wrapped up, get this enclosed, and I think by afternoon we can get those other pieces. We probably won't get that center ridge put in. Um, I'm less concerned by that. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> There's snow in here. Oh boy. <sighs> Hoping it wasn't come to this, but it, it did, so. It looks like a barn. So, a couple hours, all the snow came off. It's completely gone. That's one thing nice about the this fall stuff. It, it might snow a little bit, but it's coming right back. Um, it'll go away right away. So, we got the last bit of the roof up. We had a few pieces on there. We had a couple pieces on this end. Um, so all of our main tin is on now. We still do have the cap, the ridge cap to put in there, and that's gonna be um, a little while. We just gotta, with people's schedules, we're not, maybe another week before we can get back and do that just for everything, so, but um, not a big deal. But all the tin on the walls and the ceiling are up. Um, I think Matt and I are planning to work a little bit tomorrow on Saturday. And uh, we'll go ahead and work on some of the, the trim details. We get some trim details around this door that we left off just to keep things going. And then on the back, uh, we've got a cap that goes on there. We've got the corner pieces to go on. Jack and Matt are finishing up the last piece of tin on the wall. Um, we had one damaged piece and we ended up having, they must have sent an extra one, but we had a damaged piece, so we left it off. Um, but yeah, pretty happy, at least today. Yeah, we got a little bit of soft footwork up 
do there. Probably work on that tomorrow. And, uh, All right, we're gonna call it a wrap for the week there. Um, pretty happy to get to this point. It's been it's been a challenge. Um, we had a really short week this week. I had one day with uh, some medical stuff I had to deal with. Um, we had a day of high winds, actually three days of high winds. Um, one of them just happened to line up. So today's Friday. Um, We'll wrap this all up and then uh, next time we're going to be working on the uh, uh, at least on this project uh, we'll have the concrete guys here on Monday to get that pour done and then uh, we'll get the ridge cap to put on and clean up the trim and then uh, uh, after that will be insulation um, get the boiler set we don't know about XL whether they're coming in yet or not so find out um it's in engineering currently so we don't know when or if they're gonna be coming in if we're gonna have to do an alternate plan to heat this building through the winter so but anyway until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you then